Right, bit of an update. I've made myself a cheeky little container for me uh, sawdust burner and me uh, chimney heat exchanger thingy doings. Right down here, I've got a makeshift fan for now. It's a Fargo from Macklin's. Just blows through that little hole there that I've cut. It's just held on, but I'm going to get like a pipe and a tube and you know, tidy it all up. But what you do is like you start off. There's the elder tin, the sawdust in it. Just slot her in. And then shut the door. And then put the fan. Wait, eh? Put the fan there. And that keeps everything cooking nicely. Now, what I've sussed is. Try the L radiators because I'm using 12 volt pumps, they're just not powerful enough if you have them vertical. But if you lay them horizontal, they'll melt wax. Well, you know, that's another story. But what I've sussed, you got the elder uh, water container there, you got one pump. That that pipe comes down here, goes to that pump, and then back up and and round. At first, you have it on 4.5 volts for about hour and a half. It gets that cooking. Then you turn the other pump on, and that one's on 9 volts. And then it goes across here to there's about 40 meters, 10 milli pipe there, and it's like lovely and warm and everything now. But it's like um, I don't know whether it's a good or bad. I can't remember. I'm not really bothered. But what it is is it's lukewarm, right? And then when you go to here. So like this plastic, touch the plastic, lovely and warm. But then you touch these fittings that are made of steel and they're well hot. And then feed in fifteen milli copper. Well hot. Then you go around here to a copper pipe that comes out of Heat exchange your thing and uh, not just the pink yet because I've burnt myself because that's just really hot. So, what you do, you get some of that 8mm micro bore pipe, it's about a 4mm internal diameter, link it off that, <coughs> whatever. So when you touch whatever, you go burn yourself. So what you do is you put it in the house, nice little frame around it, you've got yourself a radiator there. I've ordered some, it's dirt cheap. It's cheaper than 10, cheaper than 15. So we'll see what happens from there. But reckon them on a winner. Just a quick one, these sawdust burners, if you pack the sawdust really tight, it lasts long, it gives off a whack of heat, but if you pack them loose, it gives off a raft load of heat, and it lasts about an hour less. I mean, 110 litres boiled, this has been going for about two and a half hours, so... There you go. It's 
stage, if forward, 